What is up, fellow YouTubers? Sub Dude Gecko 30 here, and I am back playing Mass Effect 2, guys. So in the last episode, we managed to be able to gather Thane into our into our team. Now basically we have nearly every one of our team, and we have nearly all of their loyalty missions as well. All we're missing now is just get Thane's but that will probably get on before we reach the end. So let's go talk to the, the elusive man and see what he wants. Passing the elusive man through, Commander. Shepard, we got a break. I intercepted a distress call from a Torian patrol. They stumbled onto a collector ship beyond the Corlys system. The Torians were wiped out, but not before they crippled the Collector vessel. I need you to board that ship and get some hard data on the Collectors. Find us a way to get to their home world. Hard to imagine how a Turian patrol could take out a Collector ship. Reports indicate the hull's intact, but all systems seem to be offline. They could be making repairs as we speak. I'm not saying it won't be dangerous, but we can't let an opportunity like this slip by. If they had a patrol out there, why aren't the Turians sending a recon team in? They will, eventually, but I intercepted the transmissions. In the meantime, we're feeding them false reports. You're close enough that you can be in and out before the Turians learn the truth. You sure this information's good? Information is my weapon, Shepard. It's good. All right, then. Let's go see about that collector ship. Send me the coordinates and I'll take care of it. Already sent. Once you're aboard the ship, establish an uplink with Edie. She'll mine their data for information regarding the Omega-4 relay. Good luck, Shepard. Coordinates punched in. Let's go find us a collector ship. Let's. So we'll take Garrus and Tally with us. I'd rather have the original team with us on this. Let's go, guys. All right, and there's my ability. <laughs> This sniper guy is a lot more stronger. Tally, I think you'll be comfortable with that one, hopefully. And of course, the pistol as well. Alright, I think. Let me see, I got everything I need. Nope, forgot to change this sniper. Alright, let's go. We have a visual on the collector ship, Commander. Very low emissions. Passive infrared temperatures suggest most systems are offline. Thrusters are cold. That thing is massive. How the hell did the Turians take it out? Ladar scans do not detect any hull breaches on the side facing us. I detect no Mass Effect field distortions. It appears the drive core is offline. Rendezvous in 30 seconds, Commander. Good luck.
love what they've done with the place. Looks like a giant insect hive. Penetrating scans have detected an access node to uplink with collector data banks. Marking location to your hard suit computer. All right, everybody, let's move. This place gives me the creeps. Shepard, I've compared the ship's EM signature to known collector profiles. It is the vessel you encountered on Horizon. Maybe the defense tower softened it for the Turians. The missing colonists might be aboard, if they're still alive. There's only one way to find out, Garrus. Collectors use these containers on Horizon, but these are empty. It must have been horrible, trapped in these pods. Helpless. Completely at the mercy of the Collectors. Oh my god. What happened here? the collectors just leave a pile of bodies lying around they must have been used for testing if they were a control group they would have been discarded at the end of the experiment there are worse things than death like being a test subject for twisted aliens I know you're right but it doesn't make me feel any better a collector. Were they experimenting on one of their own? Edie, I'm uploading the data from this terminal. See if you can figure out what they were up to. Data received. Analyzing. The collectors were running baseline genetic comparisons between their species and humanity. Are they looking for similarities? I have no hypothesis on their motivations. All I have are the preliminary results. They reveal something remarkable. A quad strand genetic structure identical to traces collected from ancient ruins. Only one race is known to have this structure the Protheans. <gasps> Wait, so the collectors are the. What? My god. The Protheans didn't vanish. They're just working for the Reapers now. These are no longer Prothean Shepherd. Their genes show distinct signs of extensive genetic rewrite. Reapers have repurposed them to suit their needs. You'd think somebody would have picked up on this. No one has had an opportunity to study a collector genetic code in this detail. I've already matched 2,000 alleles to recorded fragments. This collector likely descends from a Prothean colony in the Styx Theta Cluster. But there are signs of extreme alteration. Three fewer chromosomes. Reduced heterochromatin structure. Elimination of superfluous junk sequences. Reapers didn't wipe out the Protheans. They turned them into monsters and enslaved them. Still, they're working for the Reapers now, and we have to stop them. No species should have to suffer through that. Let's find what we need before the Collectors come to salvage this vessel. Move out. What do we got here? Advanced weapon training. Prefer I prefer, like, assault rifles. Not a bad, not a bad new gun though. Gotta say, not bad new guns. <laughs> Do you think are full? 
too many. I detect no signs of life in the pod, Shepard. It is probable the victims inside died when the ship lost primary power. This place is seriously creeping me out. <laughs> this might be useful. Ooh, nice. What? The same ship dogging me for two years? Way beyond coincidence. Something doesn't add up, Commander. Watch your back. Luckily, we got guns and a team, so we're prepared for this Joker. See if you can get anything useful from the data banks. Data mine in progress, Shepard. What the heck? Ah, uh, that can't be good. Joker. What just happened? Major power surge. Everything went dark, but we're back up now. I managed to divert the majority of the overload to non-critical systems. Shepard, it was not a malfunction. This was a trap. What? Oh, shoot. This is not good. We need a little help here, Edie. Whoa! Tally, you okay? Uh-oh. Connection reestablished. I need to finish the download before I can override any systems. Look out! Oh. 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 
us. 84%. 80, get us out of here. I am simultaneously fighting collector firewalls in over 8,000 nodes. I am tasked to capacity. Here they come again. And there's too many of them. Assuming control. Harbinger. Kill one and one hundred will replace it. Intense. <laughs> yeah. I have regained control of the platform, Shepard. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Edie. I always work at optimal capacity. Did you get what we needed? I found data that would help us successfully navigate the Omega 4 relay. I have also found a Turian distress call that served as the lure for this trap. The collectors would source. It is unusual. It seems logical to me that they would have sent the initial message as bait. No, it is unusual because Turian emergency channels have secondary encryption. It is corrupted in the message. It is not possible that the elusive man would believe the distress call was genuine. Wait, what? Why are you so sure? I found the anomaly with Cerberus detection protocols. He wrote them. What? He knew it was a trap? Why would he send us into a trap? Because he betrayed us. That son of a bitch sent us right into collector hands. We should have known this would happen. Servers can't be trusted. Uh, Commander, we got another problem. The collector ship is powering up. You need to get out of there before their weapons come online. I'm not losing another Normandy. I do not have full control of their systems. I will do what I can. Sending coordinates for shuttle extraction. I don't care if that thing ca caused like... Game. Renegade, because that actually is true. Because that's something Shepard would say, to be honest. Alright, let's get back to the ship and fast. the opposite of that harbinger.
Dang it. Come on, let's hurry.
pressed the wrong button. Assuming control. This hurts you. Thank you, Harbinger. Joker. It's not easy with them shooting at us. Whoa! Also, it appears impossible to block his bidding. He's on his face. Alright, we got a new weapon and some new stuff. But now, let's go to have a talk with the elusive man. Looks like Edie extracted some interesting data before the collector ship came back online. Edie told us the distress call originated from the collectors. 
You betrayed us, just like I knew you would. We're at war. The Collectors are taking humans, and every minute we waste is one more we give the enemy to prepare. I know the stakes, but we're supposed to be on the same side, and I can't trust you. Without that information, we don't reach the Collector homeworld, and you and every other human may as well be dead. It was a trap, but I was confident in your abilities. And don't forget Edie. The Collectors couldn't have anticipated her. You could have told me the plan. You say I'm important, but you sure try hard to get me killed. I needed the Collectors to believe they had the upper hand. Telling you could have tipped them off in any number of ways. Besides, I wouldn't have sent you in if I didn't think you could succeed. I don't risk people. There are always alternatives. You may not like being on the receiving end, neither would I. But the facts are with me. As much as we try to avoid them, these decisions need to be made. But more importantly, it paid off. Edie confirmed our suspicions. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced Identify Friend Foe system that the Relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. I'm guessing you have a plan. We have a science team working on a derelict Reaper right now. I need you to go and pick up its IFF. Where'd you find a derelict Reaper? An Alliance science team recently determined that the Great Rift on the planet Klendigan is actually an impact crater from a mass accelerator weapon. A very old mass accelerator. I sent a team to find either the weapon or its target. They found both. The weapon was defunct, but it helped us plot the flight path of the intended target. A 37 million year old derelict reaper. We found it damaged and trapped in the gravity of a brown dwarf. Aren't brown dwarfs basically stars that didn't quite make it? Simply put, but accurate. They're gas giants that don't quite have the masses of stars. Expect gale force winds and extremely high temperatures. The Reaper has a mass effect field that keeps it in orbit, likely an automated response to the external threats. It's stable, but I won't call it safe. I saw what Sovereign did to the Citadel fleet. Hard to imagine anything could stop something that powerful. This vessel is a relic from a battle waged while mammals took their first steps on Earth. There's no trace of the species that took the shot. Perhaps it was their one moment of defiance before being wiped out. I get the feeling this isn't going to be a simple swing by and pick up our package. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues and it was too risky to commit more resources. But now we need that IFF. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, I suggest you tell your crew I didn't risk their lives unnecessarily. It will make things easier going forward. Edie, tell the crew to assemble. We've got a lot to talk about. Yeah, of course, really Shepard. So the elusive man didn't sell us out. Could have fooled me. Lied to us. Used us. Needed access to the collector databanks. Necessary risk. There really wasn't any other choice. Let's just hope this IFF works. My analysis is accurate, Shepard. I have also determined the approximate location of the collector homeworld based on navigational data from their vessel. Whoa, what? That can't be right. Edie doesn't make mistakes. The Collector homeworld is located somewhere in the galactic core. Can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction. Space station protected by powerful mass effect fields and radiation shields. Even the Collectors don't have that kind of technology. The Collectors are just servants of our real enemy. And we've all seen what their masters are capable of. They built the mass relays and the Citadel. Who's to say they can't build a space station surrounded by black holes? No wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip through the Omega-4 mass relay. The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common, and would be fatal in the galactic core. 
The Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. Just because we can follow the collectors through the relay doesn't mean we can take them out. I don't want to go after them until I know we're ready. Sooner or later, we need that IFF. I say, why wait? It's a derelict Reaper. What if the collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that kind of risk. Yeah, we, st we still need to get the team up and running. We still need to do other, all their loyalty missions and everything. And we still need a few upgrades, no less, as well. So yeah. The more people we have on our side, the better our chances of success. We need to keep building up the team. It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you. Alright guys, so we are going to stop it here for now. That will be all for this time. If y'all enjoyed this episode, please leave a like and comment and please subscribe. And I hope to see you all in the next episode guys. Which, the next episode we're all going to be dealing with all the, lo the loyalty missions. So, I will see you all in the next episode guys. See y'all later. Bye bye guys.